Hi guys and welcome to stage 7 of the refit. I'd like to start off the video by apologizing for some of the quality of the video. Um, I was kind of frustrated for several weeks with the footage that I was taking and uh, towards the middle of this video you'll notice the quality changes significantly. I bought a uh, digital SLR camera and uh, I think this will make it a lot easier for me to do some better quality filming and just tell the story a little better also. So bearing that in mind, uh, please be patient for the first little bit of this video, but I think even, the quality, even though the quality isn't the best, it, uh, it does kind of tell the story of what's going on here, so I felt I had to use it. So the video that you've seen so far has basically been walking down the hallway into the aft cabin. As you can see, there's a lot of clutter in here, and that will be the first thing we have to do is remove that, followed by taking down all the trim. Once the trim is removed, we'll take everything back down to basically the bare hall, and we'll start uh, evaluating what uh, we have to work with, and we'll go from there. So now you can see I've removed a lot of the trim. You can also see um, the back portion of the boat, which reveals a lot more space, that rounded section. And uh, there was some pink foam insulation underneath that trim. Now I've removed more of the berth. This uh, section of the berth is where uh, Corbin would have had the proposed head. Well, the demolition in the aft continues. You can see where the, the head goes, but also I've taken the, the top of the plywood off here and discovered this angled piece. The angled piece was supposed to intersect with this piece over here in the original drawings, and this area over here would have been the aft berth. I'm in the process of removing more of the structure in the aft cabin. I can now see what that uh, rotten board was at the back. It was mentioned in the survey, but he didn't know exactly what the purpose of it was. But you can see that it's attached to the emergency, uh, the emergency tiller. The demolition in the aft cabin is more or less complete now. Um, I can see where everything is. See the hydraulics for the steering, and there's the rod for the emergency tiller, and the rotted out plywood that the bearing for the emergency tiller is attached to. So, of course, it needs to be addressed. And as we scan around, see uh, there once again is the proposed spot where the the head could possibly go. And, uh... So this is what I see as I'm coming down the hallway into the aft cabin. You can see I've removed most of the interior, but uh, what I've done is I've put back certain portions of it. Um, these two pieces of plywood, for example, they were just uh, cut out. So I'm basically putting them back into the the way the original floor plan was. I'm still not exactly sure how it's all going to be laid out. I'm still working on it. So this is my latest thought with the aft cabin. That's the structure as it was. You can see I put the plywood pieces back to where they were initially. We're building that, that structure. So this is the back, or sorry, this is the front of the uh, aft berth. You can see it kind of there at the, the wall. It's kind of hard to see from here, but you get the idea. So it runs across the boat at the back. So my thought is this piece here where it ends, I'm going to create a rounded section. So it would come around like this and that would enlarge the berth slightly. But also in the original design, it was supposed to be a seat. 
on this side against that curved part of the hull. So in doing so, I'd create kind of a, a rounded section here to give the berth a little bit more in terms of its in terms of its width and put the seat in more or less where it was planned to be and that would be that's my rough idea at this point and I'm going to start uh, fabricating the structure for the for the berth so you can see the the original framework that's there so I'm working off of that and uh, because of the limited size of what I can get in the companion way, I'm having to cut it down into smaller sheets, less than 28 inches. So I'm going to put the first 28 inch sheet up against the uh, hull there and scribe it to the, the contour, cut it and put it in place. So here's the first piece in place. It's, uh, it's difficult to know where I'm going to end the berth, so I'm making the pieces slightly oversized so I can always cut them down and figure out what the, uh, what the dimensions are going to be when it's all finished. The rudder post, I had to go around that, so I've made a a rather large um, hole in the plywood for that to fit around so I can actually get the plywood in fairly easily. Uh, I'll put a, a special piece around that when I'm done. So there we go, the next piece is in place. And uh, contour to fit the hull again. I have fairly limited space here to, to film this, so I'm having to kind of step back and so I can show you guys exactly what's going on here. This is filmed with my uh, my new camera, the Canon M50 in 4K, I believe. So a step up from the uh, the iPhone. The iPhone just became very, very frustrating um, for the camera. I think just because I'm working in such a confined area, it certainly wasn't the ideal tool. So, I made the investment and let's hope the video uh, quality improves considerably. So I've roughly cut the piece, the next piece of the aft berth to fit in place. The next step is to put it in place and uh, mark it with some more uh, specific markings so it's contoured to the contours of the hull. So that's the next step. So I've put that last sheet of plywood in place and I've drawn a line all the way along about an inch from the hull. So what I'll do with that is I'll take the jigsaw. Come on, focus. I'll take the jigsaw and uh, cut along that line at, uh, at an angle equal to the angle of the hull. And then that should fit in there quite nicely. So the next step is to uh, cut that. Okay guys, so I completed that uh, last panel, the contouring it to the hull. That's done. I also um, planned for trimming off the part of the uh, aft berth where you come in the door. If you look carefully, you can see that uh, pencil line right there. So I'm going to round the corner as you come into the into the uh, the aft stateroom, and uh, then I'll trim off those pieces down there. I haven't drawn the line on that for that yet, but uh, that's kind of the plan. So today I'm going to continue with the aft berth. I'm going to be installing a piece of plywood in this area here. Basically an inch or two back from the edge of the berth. It'll uh, go down here and follow the contours of the hull. So in order to do that, my plan is to make a template out of that door skin and uh, basically just lay a piece along here, 
a piece along the top and a piece down, and then some smaller pieces just to show the contour of the hull. Then I should be able to lay those pieces onto my uh, onto my piece of plywood and uh, scribe those over. So the template's completed. There it is right there. Yeah, I've made it uh, so all those little pieces kind of conform to the the edge of the hull and the larger pieces conform to the the uh, top of the plywood and of course. All right, so I've taken the template out from underneath the uh, the berth and uh, I've got the plywood. I made a slight error when I cut the plywood at home. I forgot that I could only get a certain size in the companion way, so I cut it to 36 inches, which didn't work, of course. So I had to take the jigsaw up top side and uh, rough cut the piece before I could bring it down below. Anyways, uh, there it is. You can see I've drawn the line it already. Now to get the jigsaw and just cut along the line very carefully and if all goes well that should fit in there nicely. So uh, there we go, the piece is in. It's not a bad day's work. Everything seems to take a long time. But that's the way it goes I guess. So here's the, the whole thing the way it looks right now. That uh, area between the old bulkhead and the new bulkhead, I'm going to get some uh, plywood that's uh, flexible, I think. Other places in the boat have curved it, but it seems like the, there's this plywood available that you can, uh, you can flex. So I'm going to see what that works like. I'm going to try and get a piece. But uh, the aft cabin is coming along quite nicely, I think. Things really came together this weekend. So the work continues on the aft cabin and more specifically the aft berth. As you can see, I've got this piece in place that I, I did a few days back. and. Uh, there's a missing piece between the existing bulkhead and that new piece. So that piece is curved. So I've been fabricating some curved, um, what I call arcs, for the lack of a better term, um, to round a piece of plywood to join those two pieces together. So what I plan to do is take another piece of plywood and kerf it to the point where I can flex it. Once I uh, kerf it, I should be able to bend it to conform to those arc pieces that I've made. So I just finished uh, cutting this on the table saw. I've cut it to size and also kerfed it. Now the kerf allows it to, to flex and I basically cut it through except for basically mm, an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch of material left, just enough to allow me to, to flex it. So here we go. Let's try and get this in here and see how it looks. So here we go. Let's try and get this in place. So now what I'm going to do is uh, pre-drill a bunch of holes between where the kerf marks are, or the kerf cuts I should say, and uh, then uh, go ahead and secure it with some screws. And that's that done. Now the plan is, I believe, it's always changing, but I believe the plan is to cover this with a thin layer of finished plywood. Something with a nice, uh, a nice grain to it, um, yet to be decided. So that's uh, that's the plan, but uh, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Doesn't look bad at all. What do you guys think? So I got that piece in, and 
there it is it fits rather nicely I had to put some uh, some gussets behind or some some support behind here the next thing is going to be figuring out what to do with this uh, closet cabinet whatever you want to call it and the small seat so further thought needs to happen on on that front and then as we swing around to the other side of the the berth um, so now we're looking at the port side what we're going to do there exactly so again a little more thoughts required on that so I've removed that panel that fits against the hull in the aft you can see the curved piece there just for reference um, so what I have to do now is grind where that panel fits so I can tab it in so I'm gonna grind I guess about a six inch area so I finished grinding that area out by this bulkhead and it does seem to have a little bit of a reddish tinge to it if it was something more structural I'd investigate that a little bit more I will ask some questions about it but I ground it down fairly hard so any contamination should be eliminated and I am going to uh, uh, clean it up with some acetone and uh, also the plywood I'll clean up with some acetone and then start to, to create that fillet so that's the that's the next step so I completed grinding that area down by that uh, new bulkhead and that's all ready to go I just have to uh, fill it, it lay up some glass along the edge I'm just going to do the outside for the time being until I can gain access to the inside I can't do that right now I can't take that top off until I've got this um, the rounded piece secured so I'll fill it that at the same time and I'm going to uh, sand that floor down a little bit more so and prep all that and clean it up with some acetone anywhere that I'm gonna um, epoxy and glass well that's about as far as I'm gonna go uh, for right now on this episode with the aft uh, cabin I'm going to uh, continue in the next episode with where I go from here with that. Uh, just a little bit of an update on other things that have been happening on the boat. Um, I am working, or and I have been working on other stuff during the past few months during the winter in the freezing cold. Um, basically I've been just taking all the Formica off the walls and prepping them, sanding them, doing all the things that I could do while the weather was too cold to do much of anything else. So that's what's been happening. Also, uh, recently I've started on uh, removing one of the knees and that will be upcoming in another episode. Um, just a little bit of information on that. One of, the, one of the knees is, at least one of the knees, maybe more than one of the knees, needs some attention. Uh, I cut one of the knees off and uh, the core material is uh, quite wet. You can see that it's been wet in the past. So I'm going to uh, get some more material and fabricate more knees and that's one project that's on, on the go. Also now that the weather's warmed up I can get to work on other things like back to the head because I can start fiberglassing again and uh, you know fiberglass in that uh, the aft cabin to uh, do the tabbing for that. So there's going to be quite a lot of activity hopefully in the next in the coming months, barring any COVID issues where I can't get to the boat. But uh, that's where we stand right now. And this is uh, uh, April 9th, April 9th today. And uh, so that's where I am on April 9th. Please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. And now follow along on Sailing Reimagined on Facebook.